look at how we can communicate between the server and the client and, and send and receive data. And we're going to be using two methods for this called emit and on. So what I want to do in this simple example is in the client, I want to ask the user for their name. Then I want to submit that to the server. And in the server, when it picks up the name, it's going to create a welcome message saying welcome and the name. And it's going to return that to the client, which will then be displayed. So that's what we want to do here. And again, we have these two um, connection methods set up right here mounted. So the first thing I want to do is just ask the user for their name. So I'm just going to say let name equals, and I'm just going to use a simple JavaScript prompt like this. And what I'm then going to do is call the emit method on socket. You call the um, emit and on methods on whatever you're using. So in the client, remember, you usually use the name socket, and in server, you usually use the name IO just to keep it separated. So you'll call the emit method on this. The first argument you give the emit method is an event name that we want to send the data with. And this can be anything you choose. So I'm just going to call this name because that's what we're sending. And then the second argument is what, what second argument is the data that you want to send. And in this case, I just want to send the name over. So I'll just say name like this. So this will basically send the, this name to the server under the event name of name. Now what we can do in the server is when we want to receive data, we call a method on either the um, IO or the socket called on. And on lets us receive data of a certain event. The first argument you want to give it is the name of the event. And in this case, since we sent the name with the event name of name, we want to make sure that we put name here as well because we want to receive that event. And the second argument is going to be a function. And the input for this function is whatever your data you sent when you emitted um, something. So in this case, um, we sent this name over like this. So what I'm just going to say is name right here. And inside this function, we have access to the name that was sent from the client. And we can do with it whatever we want. And what I want to do is just send back a welcome message. So inside this, I'm going to say io.emit. So this emit is, will send something back to the client. And I want to call this uh, welcome right here. And what I just want to send it is just a simple string saying welcome. Um, and then I'll just put the name that we received. And finally, in client.js, we just want to make sure that we um, receive this welcome message. So we'll say socket.on. And we want to say welcome like this. And the... Um, data sent over this time is a message. So the function just takes in the message. And what I'm just going to do here is say window.alert. Uh, and I'm just going to alert the message. Oops. That should be alert. And I'm just going to alert the message. Um, one tweak that we quickly need to make here is it shouldn't be io.on name since we're working with, since once we've connected, we're working with this socket right here. So this should actually be socket.on name. Since we're seeing since we're receiving it from the from the client itself, which is called socket. So if I save those and I run the server, and um, I go ahead and refresh this page, we can see where you have our prompt asking for our name. If I just enter my name in here, we can see that it's went to the server. The server picked it up, then it created this welcome message and sent this back, which is now being displayed in the client. So that's essentially how you send and receive information. You send information with the um, emit method with an event name and data and then you receive information with the on method with the event name and then a function that takes in the data. So what they want us to do here is that they want us to have a variable to keep count of the number of users and then when a connection is made they want us to increment the number of users and then emit this data back to the client with an event name of user count and then the client will just pick up that user count and this console log it. So the first thing we want to do is I'm just going to give this a refresh because um, I need to make sure that I wake up these projects because they might be asleep now. And the first thing we want to do is just basically create this a variable for the number of users. And it's called, just called current users. So in server.js, um, just before we create the on for the connection, we just want to say let current users. And we want to just initialize this to zero. Then when a user connects, what we want to do is we want to increment current users by one. So this will increment the number of users by one. And um, that should be current users. And then what we want to do is send this back to the client. So we'll say um, 
io.emit since we're sending to the client and we just want to say um, let's see um, hang on yeah we want to send the user count so we'll send uh, with the event name of user count and we just want to send the um, this variable right here current users and then what we want to do is make sure that we log this to the console in the client. So if we go over to con um, public and then client.js, um, what we want to do here is say socket.on, and this time we're listening for the user count event. And we have a function that takes in the data, which in this case is count. Or maybe I'll just use the variable name that they used here just to be safe. So I'll just change this to data. And what, what we want to just do here is just log this to the console. So I'll just do console.log data like this. And then I'll close off the bracket. And what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to open up the um, developer tools to see the console. And if I go ahead and refresh this now. Uh... Okay, maybe my maybe um Chrome won't allow this, but that should be everything you need to do here. Um, normally it should come up um in the actually no, I need to load the chart page first. Okay, there we go. So we can see that the number of users gets displayed right here. So that should be everything you need to do for this challenge. So, uh, you can go ahead and just submit that. And what we've essentially done is sent um, some data from the server to the client with the number of users and then displayed it in the client.